all the answers will be revealed here. Um, because you might know me as the author of these books, The True Story of the Three Little Pigs. Yes. That was the very first book I thought. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the Stinky Cheese Man. Uh, it was a long road to get to these. Um, I grew up as a very small boy in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> And one place I got a lot of ideas for my stories was I grew up with five brothers, no sisters. Even our boy, or even our dog was a boy dog. Our goldfish was a boy goldfish. And so I got a lot of ideas from growing up with all those brothers and wrestling around. In fact, I brought along a picture of them just to show you. There, that's mom and dad on top. And then there's Jim, John, that's me, the second oldest, and the nicest. Tom, Greg, Brian, Jeff. And you can tell by looking at these photos what happens if you have six boys, and how the parents become slowly fatigued. <laughs> they start out by dressing us. Jim and I have suits with pocket handkerchiefs that are monogrammed. And Tom's got a coat, I think it's mine. Greg's got a sweater. Brian, number five, there has someone else's coat. And Jeff doesn't even have a coat. And he needs a haircut. <laughs> yeah, he says. <laughs> so, one place I got my ideas um, was my mom always told us to not wrestle. Because that's all we did in our house. Like, whenever we had to decide who got in the front seat of the car, we would just wrestle. Or we, and whoever wins gets the front seat. Or whoever gets the last piece of chicken, we'd say, let's just wrestle. And then whoever won would get the last piece of chicken. Which is why Jeff was probably the smallest brother, too. Because he was the youngest. <laughs> but my mom made one rule, though. She said, do not wrestle in the house. We said, all right, we'll try not to. But one day I was walking through the living room, and my brother Jim jumped on me because he had learned a new hold. He tried to choke hold on me. And he grabbed me from behind on my back, so I flipped him off my back onto the couch. But that was not good for the couch, because the two front legs broke off the couch. It went like <laughs> So we tried to put the legs back under it. That did not work very good. We tried to actually glue the legs back with Elmer's glue. That did not work. We tried just stuffing like clothes and books and stuff on there, and that didn't work very good either. So I said, Jim, we should just run away. And my brother said, no, no, don't worry, I'll tell my mom what happened, or what to our mom what happened. I said, are you sure? He said, yeah, yeah, don't worry. So my mom just then walked in, and she saw the couch, and she freaked out. She looked at it, and she said, who broke my brand new couch? because my mom sounds just like that. <laughs> and I said, ah, ah, and then Jim just said, oh, you know what happened? John broke it. 